Miles from Memory Moment is Sherry Sherbin. Good morning. Good morning, Tim. Thanks for having us. It is so delighted to have you here. And each week we learn lots about uh, the battle against uh, dementia and Alzheimer's and other uh, various forms of it, as I've learned, sure. one of which is vascular dementia. What are we talking about here? Well, when we're talking about vascular dementia, again, the symptoms that you're going to see generally uh, deal with reasoning, planning, judgment, memory, and other thought processes. But vascular dementia is generally caused by an acute specific event, uh, as opposed to it developing generally over a period of time. And the event in some way, shape, or form is generally affiliated with a loss of oxygen to the brain. So it could be a stroke, um, some other kind of of cardiovascular incident that might occur. It might even occur from a fall or a head injury or something of that nature without a helmet on, as an example. Wow. So uh, what are some of the factors that increase the risk of this? Uh, well, one of the things that you want to look at doing is looking at health conditions and health markers and making sure that you keep certain things where they should be. So diabetes is something that you should try to keep under control. Heart disease is something that we want to make sure that we look at and keep under control. So that might mean making sure if we have high blood pressure, we want to make sure we get it down. Or if uh, cholesterol is an issue, we want to get that back into balance the way that it belongs. Smoking would be another thing. Uh, if you're a smoker, stopping would be a really good idea if you want to increase the way that blood flows through the vessels. Yeah, and of course, just being more active, that can help. Yes, mm -hmm. diet and exercise are really important long-term as well. Yeah. Now, how does this, uh, you know, vascular dementia differ from Alzheimer's disease? Well, a couple of different things. Because vascular dementia is really affiliated with a particular incident in most cases, such as a stroke, uh, what you would see is the incident might happen, the dementia might begin to occur, and they're going to stay at a, a general level for a period of time until another incident occurs, and then it would drop again at the next incident, and it would stay again at that uh, next level. So it's kind of like a step uh, shape, so to speak. Whereas with Alzheimer's disease, the um, the way that the disease progresses is really uh, more straight and narrow and kind of at an angle, really, as it slings up. Uh, the other thing, though, with Alzheimer's disease, one of the big risk factors for that is age, uh, whereas vascular dementia, it is not necessarily age-related. could happen any time if there were uh, uh, oxygen, oxygen deprivation to the brain. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm thinking also, you know, we just talked to some folks about Narcan mm -hmm. and uh, a Narcan program that's uh, coming up Friday at six over at the Alano Club. And that's what narcotics use does too. It deprives the brain of oxygen. Yeah. And our brain needs that to survive. So anything that would deprive the brain of oxygen can create a problem. Sure. Now, this is not as prevalent as Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is by far the most prevalent form of dementia. Correct. Yeah, in this particular case, we have anywhere from 1% and 4% of those individuals that um, are below or 65 and below. And then that begins to double every 5 to 10 years after that. Whereas with Alzheimer's disease, right now it's about 1 in 9 individuals under 65 years of age and makes its way up consistently where we're going to ultimately end up to be about 1 in 2 people hmm. um, that are affected by it in some way. Two big events coming up for Miles from Memories. Yes. Um, one of them uh, is the spin. Yes, the spinning event is going to be at the Y Center on uh, Saturday, this coming Saturday. And we are going to spin our little hearts out. It's 15, or 30 minutes for $15, or um, we're hoping teams might be able to create a $300 a group donation so that we can work with the new GPS bracelet that we have and start making that available to individuals who need that. Well, last year I think was the first year for it. And yes. It was a really successful event. People yes. just come out to the the Y and they ride a stationary bike mm -hmm. and uh, they make a donation and it's real fun, as you mentioned, with groups or right. co-workers or family members uh, can have the whole gang come out. Uh, we need to make an appointment for that so that not everybody's there at the same time or what? Yeah, it's best if you call in and set a time. But if you know what, you show up. If there's an opening at that time slot, we'll just sneak you right into that time slot and have you go. And, you know, it doesn't really matter how fast or how long you've ever been a rider if you've never um, done a spinning class before in your life because everybody's stationary. <laughs> so sure. you are going to get left behind. So that's always a lot of fun. Yeah. Too. We don't have any uh, crashing accidents at least. No. Uh, no. So, well, that's good. And uh, there's more information of that uh, up on your Facebook page. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
So uh, how do we find that, by the way, the easiest way? If we... Well, if you just go Miles from Memories and you could add Battle Creek at the end, uh, it'll bring you right up to it once you've been there. If you like us on Facebook, obviously you'll see uh, the different events and activities that we have going on every day. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to share information as we get it about different uh, conditions and uh, different methods that folks are utilizing. So uh, it really is meant to be a resource to the community as much as possible. Another uh, great resource and great event coming up. April 16th at the Cool Family Center. Yeah, so this is coordinated by Anne from Senior Health Partners. Um, this is one of our events with our researchers. We do sponsor or uh, provide money to Michigan State University for their research that they work on dealing primarily with prevention related issues. We have some new information that's going to be released as it pertains to uh, vascular dementia in particular and different uh, his pieces that he's now submitted for publication as a result of his works. Can't wait to hear more about that. In fact, we'll have you on. We'll talk a little bit more about all of that stuff. See you at the uh, Spin for Miles this Saturday. What time again? Uh, starts at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock down at the Y. Jerry Sherbin, Miles for Memory Moment. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks so much. And